Our experiment for the high altitude balloon challenge will be to test the effect of high altitude atmospheric conditions on the accuracy of blood glucose monitor strips. We kicked off our project on May 5th, 2022 during our space education night where we learned about Colonel Kittinger and his feet in the 1960s. He ascended in a hot air balloon to roughly 19 miles above the earth and he observed the effects of the atmosphere on his body. His curiosity and work in airspace inspired us to participate in this challenge. First, we reviewed the HAB challenge schedule and the experiment guidelines. We also looked at different ideas for our digital patch and our hand-drawn patch. We brainstormed 22 possible ideas and started narrowing down our options based on limitations. For example, one of our ideas was sending an orange peel or sprouted seeds into space, but we realized that it would rot and degenerate before the actual experiment. We narrowed down our ideas further to two experiments and explored both. Our, the first was the effect of high altitude atmospheric conditions on the elasticity of rubber bands. We suspended the rubber bands with weights and used a tape measure to attempt to measure the breaking point, which introduced safety hazards to cadets. Because of that safety factor, we decided to abandon this experiment. Our second idea, and the one we ended up choosing, was the effect of high altitude atmosphere conditions in space on the readings of blood glucose monitor test strips. Our hypothesis is that the high altitude atmosphere conditions will affect results of the blood glucose test strip. Some items we need for this experiment are the blood glucose monitors, the blood glucose monitor strips, and the control solution to act as blood samples. Our testable question is how does high altitude atmosphere in space affect the results of blood glucose test strips? Our hypothesis is that the biological enzyme on the test strips from the flight capsule will denature due to the high altitude atmosphere and their readings will be inaccurate on the blood glucose test monitor. We do not have any limitations, medical or other, because we are using a control solution instead of a blood sample. We place 10 blood glucose monitor strips into the two capsules, the flight capsule and control capsules. Once we receive the capsules again, we will measure the reading on the test strips with a control solution and compare the results. Commercial space travel expands at a rapid pace, and NASA is no longer the only major player in space. In the near future, a person with some health, health compromises, such as pre-diabetic, could travel in space and stay on the moon or at the International Space Station. While there, they would need to measure their blood sugar accurately and keep it under control. This HAB challenge and our experiment has boosted our interest to pursue our career in space medicine, and we are excited to see where this takes us.